Welcome back, everybody, to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm your host, Admiral Tintin. And once again, we are here back in the courtyard and carrying on with our previous episode. We ended off right here. And now we're going to try and uh, continue on with the story. And as I promised, I'll try not to wander around too much on camera. I'll try to do that stuff when I'm off camera. So let's get into it. And hey... Please give it a I like. I trust the preliminary the tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Vigor. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Reparo, big circle. Mending charm. Ah, can be used to repair broken objects and places in the environment. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Uh, it my allegedly exactly. symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Yeah, right after I uh, have a look at what's behind you there. Rebellion. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Let's uh, use repair on this, shall we? Well, apparently I uh, R two. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. Um, she's screaming out. Not happy. Now what, sir? That's it. We're done. Later. Okay, there's a secret box stuck in this tower right there from the inside. So we gotta go upstairs. No, right here. Uh, double question mark. Where's the double question mark? Good question where the double question mark is, but it's a hydra. Whoa, I got a big tank. The statues in the Great Grand depicts. I'm actually just going to let you guys read that, so go ahead and pause it to read, and I'm just going to keep going. Instead of me reading all those, no. it's a lot quicker for me to just. Just quicker for me to just burn through it rather than reading it out to you. I'll let you read it. Educate yourself a little bit. There we go, there's the double. Should be the Hydra right there. Speaking of astronomy, I'm surprised you're not fixated on Venus. Okay, and the top one is 11 plus the wolf thingy. Half is totally putzed out. Scarecrow Sorcerer Hat. Nice. And short stairs. What am I going to do with those things? Let's get on with the show. Sorry for the detour. That's cool, though. That is some pretty neat stuff. All right, so if we go to... Revelio. Yeah, see, there is something tinging. Over here. 
Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, hello. hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Well? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, yes. a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Oh, let's have a look, see. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Uh, hint, hint. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Yeah, we know where all this is. And that's something I can do after. Oh, goodness gracious. Anyway. This looks like the location from the painting. Yeah, what look at the moth. What's so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. frame Wow you can always tell the first year. There is something cool in this game every time Lenora I solved the mystery of that painting you did how I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Mm. The moth! I should have seen that! Complete side quest relations, two of three. Huh. Rebellion. Again, I don't really want to waste too much time reading that for you, so I'll let you educate yourself as you wish, and I'll continue on. Basically, I'll read it for myself, and then you can pause it and read it if you like, In my opinion, whichever the case is. Professor, I'll do. So logical. I don't understand how she believes the things she teaches. Sharp was in a mood the other day. Okay. Manage the contents of every cauldron in the room with one card. There's a secret box right there. 
in a room that I don't know how to get to. Again, more exploratory stuff, more explanations would be required, but... Revelio. Okay. I really don't think so. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Mm-hmm. Spinny. Oh. Sorry. Your butt was sticking out. <laughs> ah, Professor Black. Might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone is sneaking into the restricted section. Oh, oh not that again. Alright. So it's sneaky, sneaky stuff. Somewhere now. It's up. Rebellion. How can it be below me and then above me at the same time? Oh, like I said, it's exploration upon exploration and lots and lots and lots of it. So don't feel like um, you're obligated to go to each and every one of these if you do play it. Play it at your leisure. Enjoy it as you wish. Don't feel pushed into it. For me, I enjoy searching and seeking. I got a feeling that Tinkerbell is above, not below. Revelio. Where's this kid going? See, like, I don't know. My greatest attributes. There we go. Basically, go chase your tail forever. Rebellion. And we're done in here. We're out of here. Sorry about that wandering. I'll, like I said, I'll try and do that stuff on my own. Why do I need to go back up and out this way? There's a chest. Somewhere. Beneath me. Probably. Locked. Definitely beneath me. <clears throat> Revelio. Mm -hmm. 
Fuck, <laughs> too cool. Ah, little Bo Peep. What was the ministry thinking using black to charge for one of the children? Keeping children. Rebellion. I hear it. I think transfiguration is the hardest subject. It requires some one wrong move. Three sister bells. Page somewhere. Hello, looking for me? I will find you in a second. Just, just a moment, please. Oh, never mind. It is you making that noise. Revenge. Uh, broken broom. armor Rebellion this one not that scorch marks oh nice rebellion oh there's more yet what the heck Get you yet, you little dirties. Frog choir. <laughs> nice. drum. Wow, that did not look like you were beating a drum. It looked like you were whacking somebody on top of the head. Okay, down. Let's go. Oh, you sneaky bugger. I gotta have illusion, like, uh, disappearing or something for them. They lock up the moment they see me. Okay, we're out of here. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. 
I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butter bee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mm. mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not wow. mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. You're no kidding. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. What the heck? <laughs> Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hippogriff, nice. Part lion, part owl. That's the forgotten forest, eh? Doesn't look so forgotten, but everybody seems to remember it. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why have they already named them, too? France Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. There's more of those flies. Okay. Lots of places to explore. Like, wow. No short of exploration. Something I will do off camera. I would a spend lot. all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Uh, this is cool, man. There is so much to do. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. Can't help I'm myself. getting used Sorry. to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for work. I 
and have so much Mr. Moon. So have you, you met our new fit yet? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Mm. Poor Mr. Moon, a demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am Lumos. happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Brewsticks right is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Revelio. Precious cauldrons. Nice. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Right on. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Cool. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. All right. So it's another area. The Hogsmeade map shows shops, the points of interest. You can track any of these highlights on the icon by pressing X, press circle to exit Hogsmeade map. Wow, man, I'm telling you. Crazy, crazy, love it, love it. This is pretty awesome. Whoops! <laughs> Darn button! I'm telling you! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna accidentally zap somebody and he took us yet. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Locked. All right. All right. So there's a few places to go. So we're gonna save it here. And mm, you know what? Oh, I gotta pet the cat. That's what. Uh, it's locked. All right, so let's go ahead and save our progress real quick. All right, save complete. Let's go uh, to Ollivander's to start with, I guess. Merlin, blooming beer. I'll be right with. 
Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But, of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. I wonder if this yes. will have anything to do mm. with the selection I've chosen. Powerful one. core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm, you yeah. might do. Here, give this one a try. Ten and a half inches was the right size, and it had a phoenix well, core ahead, and a willow swish. wood outside. Hmm. No. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> he just loves to see things like that. Well, this that isn't happen. a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, uh. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Huh. Oh, 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 my, oh, goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh. <laughs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, Nothing bad will happen. Where are you? <laughs> Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, Willow, Phoenix Feather, quite bendy, ten and three quarter inches. That's exactly the wand, exactly to the one that ended up on my uh, game feed or the uh, fan book when I did my thing. That's the one I ended up with. Go figure. That's insane. How intriguing. Notched. Light brown, ash brown. Ooh. Honey brown, yeah, not a big one. Curious indeed. Uh, dark gray, natural gray, not really into the gray. I don't mind that. How Just intriguing. Palm. Oh, man, I fancy that twisted branch for some reason. Yeah, wood type is willow. Oh, you can select whatever you want. Oh, Curious no. Curious indeed. Oh, yeah, and then you can choose longer. No, we're going to go with what I ended up with, which was 10 and 3 quarter. How yeah. intriguing. Quite bendy, yeah. We're gonna go back to gray. Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. Oh, yeah, there's different. Curious indeed. No, we're going to go back to what I got online, which was the same kind of thing. So we're going to choose, I think we'll go with the whitewash that it already was. 
And the bendy thing is the dark oak, right? Yeah. So we're going to go back for the white wand. What's this? Willow Phoenix Feather, quite bandy, 10 three quarter inches. Yeah, which is what I picked online. And, or it's not what I picked, it's what picked me online, so to speak. So I'm not going to change that. Yeah, we're just going to leave it as it was. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. What do you think? That's what picked me. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I think if you now, how really did want, that feel? Good. You can change whatever Different. you like. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Now, so you ask, you, you, online, when you're doing the fan club thing, you answer questions. When you're done answering the questions, it selects the wand that matches you. And that was actually the identical flipping wand, man. That's cool. So, yeah, maybe next time what I'll do is I'll change the, uh, where did that little kitty go? I heard him purring. Maybe next time I'll choose my own, I guess you could say. Be totally random to whatever I wanted. Rebellion. What the heck? First thing I do is push that says don't push. <laughs> Rebellion. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap it off here for the night. Uh, I appreciate you all for watching. I thank you so much for hanging in there. And, uh... I'm really, really grateful for you watching my videos, of course, and being subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And for those that have subscribed and are subscribers, thank you very, very much for continuing your support. And I'll help to further indulge you with new shows.